In the given question, we are given the data for Hillside Apartments Inc. It means we are given the partial trial balance of Hillside Apartments Inc. for the period ended 31st December 2010. It means the company's balances prior to adjustments on 31st December 2010 are given to us. And what we are required to do in this question is we, are, we need to prepare the annual year end adjusting entries for this particular period. Now, coming to the first adjusting entry. In the first adjusting entry given to us, we need to pass an adjusting entry for insurance. The prepaid insurance expense, the prepaid insurance account balance is given to us for a premium of $12,000 which belongs to a four year period for the policy dated 2011 June 30th. Now, first of all we need to calculate the amount for insurance expense. This premium belongs to four year period and it will be proportionated with six months which is a relevant period for our relevant year. It will come out to 1500. So we'll pass an adjusting entry for insurance expense. We'll debit the insurance expense credited with prepaid insurance with an amount of 1500. Now coming to next. The physical inventory of the office supply indicates supplies on hand cost of 3000. And the supplies balance given to us in the balance sheet is 7000. It means out of the 7000 the supplies on hand is only 3000 so we need to book and book a supplies expense of the difference amount so the difference amount will be 7000 reduced with the 3000 that is 4000 so we'll book a supplies expense of 4000 now coming to next the value of the building is given to us in the trial balance as 2,55,000 and what we are given in the, in the adjustment is that the salvage value of the building is USD 15,000 and the useful life is 40 years. So we will have to find out the depreciation for this particular period. So the depreciation for this particular period will be cost reduced with its salvage value and will be divided with its useful life. It will come to 6000. So we will debit the depreciation expense with 6000. We will pass this entry by crediting the accumulated depreciation on building. Now coming to next. The salaries earned. Since the last payday but unpaid, it means these salaries has been earned but has been unpaid. It means these has been earned in this period only. So we need to book this salaries as an expense in this period credited with the salaries payable of USD 5000. Now coming to next, the interest earned but not collected is USD 400. It means this interest has been earned but not collected. It means this has been earned in this period only. So we need to book an interest revenue of 400. So the interest revenue will be credited with dollar four 400. Now coming to next. The unearned rent account. The unearned rent account balance given in the trial balance is how much? 2700. Now come to the adjustment. The adjustment is that it belongs to a 12 months period beginning from October 2010. It means the relevant period for us will be till 31st December 2010. So we need to book this rent revenue for a period of 3 months. So this 2700 belongs to a 12 month period and will be proportionated with a 3 months period. It will come to 675. So we need to book and book a rent revenue of 675 debited with the unearned rent account.